Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wind. So no free pick today. Nice to have a day off. Uh, just up north at one of our local casinos, playing a little bit of Baccarat, going well. Um, today though, I want to mention uh, something that I don't talk about on here, and that is horse racing. Okay, so um, Bender Wind sports betting, right? Bet on everything, right? Not horse racing. I don't do horse racing. I don't do combat sports. Um, and I'm going to tell you why I don't do horse racing and why I think you should really think about not betting on ponies as well. So first and foremost, horse racing has an absolutely massive house edge. And that is because the wagered money goes towards the purses at the races to pay the owners, the jockeys, etc. And it is a very, very significant house edge. At some tracks can be up over 20%. So they have a big prize pool. And of that, 20% of that money could be adios. It could be even higher than that, right? So you have to overcome a massive house edge. Um, some people who really, really, really know the horses, know the tracks, can get close to beating that. Some claim to be able to beat it. And there actually was a syndicate in Japan um, that was able to beat it for millions and millions of dollars. But here ultimately is the reason why I personally do not bet on horses. Because one of my dad's good friends owned professional racehorses. Okay? He would take them out. They were thoroughbred racehorses. He had a few standard breads, but mostly thoroughbred. And the one thing he said years and years ago that always stuck with me is he said, I never know when my horses are going to win, but I always know when they're not going to win. And I'm like, I was kind of floored by that because I used to bet on horses way back in the day. I mean, I bet on anything when I was a kid, right? So, um, and here's what he meant by that. Basically, he went on to explain that he couldn't predict when his horses were going to win. He would send them out and try to, you know, have the best chance at winning that he possibly could. But sometimes his goal when he sent his horses to the track wasn't to win a race. It could be a tune-up race. It could just be getting the horse ready for the next run. Maybe he's trying to change distances of the horse. So he went through all this stuff, all these reasons why he would take a horse to the track and have him not win. And he knew for a fact his horses wouldn't win. And he said there was times where his horses were coming off back-to-back -back wins and he knew it wasn't going to win and he watched his horse get just absolutely bet down by the public not knowing any different right what do you know it's like hey this horse just won two in a row he's the best in the field everyone bets him and the horse just went out for a leisurely middle of the pack run so that is why I don't bet on horses because at the end of the day you don't know what the owner's motivation is most of the time yeah these horses are out there to win but not always so to beat a house edge like that, very challenging. To beat a house edge and to know when horses are actually going to perform at their top, near impossible unless you're involved completely with one of the clubs.